Brigade? Ja. <lacht> Lass mich doch mal reinsprechen. Hallo. Das geht nicht. Hallo, 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 hallo. Hallo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nature has a way of really touching you inside. It's a lesson everyone must learn. It ain't no use to try to run away or try to hide. Everyone must finally take a turn. Well, you may be a person who believes it is your rank. To be free and independent to the core. But once you learn the ways of these exotic parasites, you'll see that independence is a bore. Toxoplasma gondi is a microscopic bug who carries all its genius in its genes. It may be on your fingers or the fibers of your rug, but to this bug there's more than it may seem. One toxoplasma gets inside the system of a mouse. It doesn't make him feel that he's unwell. It gives the mouse the energy to run around the house, but not detect the prowling feline smell. In fact, it makes the mouse become attracted to the pet. It doesn't show a single sign of fright. For Toxoplasma seems to know precisely where it's at. It is a very cunning parasite. The cat then turns the mouse into a ghost. And Toxoplasma joins its natural host. The cat. Now you are living as a parasite. The lancet liver fluke lives in the liver of a cow and lays its eggs inside the cow's manure. And there it starts an odyssey which somehow will allow this tiny worm to work its way back to her. The fluke-infested feces is then eaten by a snail who turns the larval worm into a cyst. Excreted by the mollusk in a slimy yellow trail, but the snail is only first on this fluke's list. The adolescent fluke worm is then eaten by an ant, and it, it lives a while an independent worm. But then it does a special thing that other insects can. It infiltrates a group of the ants' nerves. The ant then spends its daily life as normal as before, working in the colony all day. But every night the parasite residing at its core manipulates it in the strangest ways. By the moon, the ant will climb the tallest blade of grass and sink its mandibles into the tip. And there it will be paralyzed until the night has passed when back into the colony he'll slip. And this will happen every single night until a hungry cow will come to buy it. Now you are living as a parasite. Ain't it easy living as a parasite? You can make a living off another's life when you are living as a parasite. Next
compressor or the emerald cockroach wasp is famous for her reproductive ways. For when she has a common household cockroach in her grasp, she sinks her stinger twice into her prey. The first attack will paralyze the roach's frontal legs. The second one goes straight into its brain. For if the wasps have a nesting place to lay her eggs, the roach mustn't respond to any pain. The venom doesn't kill the roach, but incapacitates the nerves which tell its body to retreat. And since the wasp has killed the roach, has instincts to escape, she takes a roach antenna as a leash. upon the roach and lays an egg upon its abdomen. The larva chews its way into its docile captive host and feasts upon the organs there within. The roach will stay alive another week until the worm can spin its own cocoon and climb inside. And in about a month the larva worm has finally turned into a wasp who leaves its host and flies. So the natural cycle is complete. So who says reproduction isn't sweet? Now you are living.